What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Behind me is a 2017 Range Rover Evoque. Um, so I'll put a little clip here of the factory system. We are replacing that with a 10 inch Android operating system. So basically it's a new screen, capacitive touch, running Android 9. All the factory systems will work and then you'll also have the Android operating system and CarPlay and Android Auto and all that good stuff. Um, so we'll go through the install and then we'll do a review on the unit and yeah. Let's jump right into it. So first thing we need to do is remove the screen. Now to do that, we have to remove this big, beautiful panel here. So we've got Torx 20, and we've got some plastic panel removal tools. Did I say Torx 20? I meant way bigger. It's better. T30. One of the little screws that we need is right there. So you can just pop that off and then I'll show you what it looks like. So from this side, it's in there. Okay, next up, this little panel right here pulls straight down so you can see where the clips were. We've got a screw here. And I'm pretty sure we have to do the same on this side as well. Yep, so same on both sides. That panel will just pop straight down. Okay, now the screen is out. Let's have a look at the panel okay so obviously this is gonna have to come out so if we look on the underside of the panel we can see all the little Torx screws that we have to undo to get that out so that's gonna be one of the last things what we need to do now is finish removing the screen Okay, in the packaging we've got the CarPlay dongle, we've got the main harness, now this is going to get connected underneath the driver's seat, so in this car it's a right hand drive vehicle, uh, we'll go through that as well and then we're going to run this up, okay, so this whole thing gets run up to here like so, we've got our USB, so what we're going to do is connect these two together and then connect this to our female socket that we've custom fit into the center console. So I'll show you that. We've got a microphone that we need to run. GPS antenna. It's a Wi-Fi antenna. I'm going to leave 4G antenna. Yeah, I'm going to leave that out for now. Then we've got a little LVDS, little extension cable thing. I don't know why that's in there, but whatever. Better to use it if it's there. And that is it. Okay, so where my hand is, we're going in there up. There's a little flat spot right about here. So we can put some double-sided on that, stick it down. Okay, so next up we're going to remove this kick panel, which is very easy. They're just clips. like so. And then we've got two more clips right here, which you could probably see that one further down. And we're going to remove the seat. Okay, so we'll time lapse this. Okay, once we've undone all the seat bolts, we can just pick it up. It doesn't have to come all the way out. There's two clips in here. Uh, one there, one here. So they're out, and then that will allow you to sort of lift up the carpet a little bit and just get it out of your way. And then we've already done this, but there's two 10 millimeter bolts here as well that come undone. And this is where our USB has been run. So we've custom fit a flush mount USB right here in that area in the center console. And it runs down underneath to there where we can plug it into the module and underneath this panel okay so when you undo those 10 panels you can release a little bit of this carpet as well boom pod lock connector so we just get our hands in there pinch the plug pull it out and then we can do the connection So once that has been plugged in, we have the rest of the harness 
which we will run to the front of the car toward the screen. So it's going to go up to there where the screen is. Now I'm thinking we're going to go here with the factory loom and then up through the dash over there, but we'll, we'll video that anyway. We'll have a look at it together. A few moments later. Okay, so we've got the wiring to the center console. We've, we are in the middle of running the microphone right now. So the microphone's getting mounted behind. There's a gap in here. So when you talk, at least, you know, the mic's gonna pick you up and then it's mounted behind there. We're gonna run the wiring into here. And that's all the same. So the wiring did end up coming behind this panel all the way up. And um, it's not the easiest thing to do, so take your time with it. And GPS was done up where we said. And now, what we're going to do is remove all these buttons and fit the new screen. Okay, so this is everything done. So that's the main power harness that gets connected to the radio module down there. This has to get plugged in. So that is what normally goes into the button uh, to the panel here. It's plugged into the sides there for the buttons. That gets plugged into this adapter, which will go into the new screen. We've got that LVDS screen connector, GPS antenna, and there's a Wi-Fi antenna as well, which we've got to fish the plug out. Here's the Wi-Fi antenna. And now we can pretty much put the screen back in and start testing all the features. All right guys, so when we first boot up the car, it does come up with the Land Rover, Range Rover um, opening screen, but the car was on not very long ago. So it's just automatically booted up to this screen because it hasn't gone to sleep. So basically, when you first get in the car, turn it on, Land Rover screen comes up, boom, you get this screen right here. Now from here, this is our Android interface. So as you can see, we have a lot of things that we can play with. Now, this is running Android 9, which I've probably already said a hundred times. It is really fast, as you can see here. Now and we've gone through all the settings to get it looking how we like. And basically we can also go original and we have functionality with the factory system. So that's completely the OEM system. So parking sensors, camera, media, right? Everything, navigation, all works. Um, and then just pressing that home button is gonna switch us back over to the Android system. And basically you can go into media, local video and music via USB, which we've custom mounted in the center console. You can connect Bluetooth and play music that way. You've got YouTube, Google Play, pictures, all in your media app. Then we can go back. Navigation's just gonna bring up Google Maps. Now, the system needs a hotspot, okay? So we've already got it connected. So as you can see, it's all in and working. You can go up here and you can search. So you've got your places, timeline, all these sorts of things. You can look on the map. Okay, you can physically tap and search where you want to go. You can press home. Next page over, we've got easy connection. So this means you can actually mirror your phone. Pretty cool. The Google Assistant through voice control. Phone, so if you want to make Bluetooth phone calls. Apps. This is really, really cool because you can just go here. Boom, you got YouTube. So it says we're not connected. Okay, so we've probably lost the hotspot. Hotspot your phone to the device, which is when I say device, this screen. Boom, you'll have YouTube. You can sign into YouTube, watch your videos, whatever you want. Auto kit is actually our phone, so I've got my phone disconnected. Just go ahead, plug it in. And we have Apple CarPlay. Now, this looks insane. I don't know if the video does it justice. This is awesome. This looks so, so good. 
We've got the Land Rover button here, so that will bring us right back to where we were. Play Store, okay, endless options. You can download apps, you can do all this crazy stuff. Um, these things are absolutely crazy. Home will bring us back there, so we've got Meter, so you can look at physical, like this is real time car information. So I'm just going to touch the accelerator, and we see here. The revs move with it right there, so that's using that reads uh, that's working from the CAN bus system for anyone that wants to get technical. You got settings, so nav settings, sound settings, brightness, system settings. Network is where you can connect your hotspot. Okay, so you pick a hotspot, connect to it. If you turn hotspot on your phone on, obviously you can connect that way. It's pretty easy. And yeah, guys, like that. In a nutshell, that is it but the it's endless the options are seriously endless like phone okay so this is on bluetooth this is the factory bluetooth system at least it looks like it is um we can also just go to apps auto kit phone contact boom very 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 easy so it doesn't matter what we're on. So let's say we're in CarPlay, we go reverse. It's gonna switch us over to the factory reverse camera. Okay, we haven't added that, that's genuine. Go back to park or drive. It's gonna bring you right back to where you were before. Uh, like I said, I mean, I don't wanna go into a massive in-depth video on how this works, but browser, you can Google things. Play Store, obviously download apps, watch videos. Google uh, Play Music, Maps, obviously Maps. There's another Google app right there. Voice search. This little car button is another way to get us right back to the factory system. This is where I would be mostly. I'd be in here, I'd have YouTube on, obviously, well, not while I'm driving, of course. Um, I'd have, this is where I'd be most of the time. I'd have this on and I'd be playing with CarPlay, make a liar out of me and go back. Um, I'd be playing with CarPlay and, you know, maps, got my podcasts, I'd be listening to podcasts, all that good stuff. Guys, that is pretty much it for the Range Rover. It's a very, very easy install. The hardest thing was literally running that power cable from the main radio module, which is underneath me, to the screen, which one of you in the comments or someone else will probably be like, what are you talking about? It was 10 times easier. Of course, I found the hard way to do it. Um, yeah, straightforward install, really, really good. Now, this is a very good customer of ours, so he's gonna test this out, let us know if there's any problems, the smallest problems at all, he's gonna let us know. And if you guys wanna know, drop your questions in the comments section below, and we can let you know. But as of now, amazing. System is really, really good. We are very impressed with it. Um, and yeah, we'll check back in later. Thanks for watching.